Now, there are lots of ways to try to boost your body confidence, but for the photographer Walid Shah, he took the unusual step of posting his own self-portrait, belly and all, on Instagram. He went on to lose weight, but after a close friend passed away from cancer, he was inspired to explore other people's insecurities. So Walid Shah started the photography project, Rock Your Ugly. He joins me now from Abu Dhabi. Uh, really good to talk. Welcome to you. Um, it's the type of thing that if, uh, you know, for the average person, if they were to put their pot belly out uh, for the world to see on Instagram, it is something that would be very uncomfortable for them. Just tell us a little bit about your project and where you got the idea. So I think you summarized it pretty well. Uh, you know, just one day, uh, you know, I think it was my birthday uh, two years ago. My birthday is in January, so it's around the time where everybody makes resolutions. So instead of making a resolution of saying, you know, uh, this is how I look like, and then I'm going to hit the gym and lose weight, I just didn't feel very good about myself. So I just said, I'm not going to do anything about it, and uh, this is what I look like. Maybe check back in next year and see what happens. Uh, so I put that up and then, you know, I got a lot of uh, feedback saying, you know, we, you know, a lot of people feel that way. And I just kind of made a note to, to try to explore people's insecurities at a little bit of time. And then fast forward two years when my, you know, my best friends passed away. Um, my, when I came back from the funeral, my, my mental state wasn't, wasn't great. I wasn't, I wasn't in a great place in my head. Uh, so just taking some advice from, uh, from friends and family to bury myself in work. I, uh, you know, picked up just a random product off my notes and that, happened to be the one so uh you know it, it became more of like a, a group therapy session with each individual that i that i interviewed and shot out that helped me to feel i don't care why also you know helping others heal from their pain I guess for, for many people, um, the fact that they have these external insecurities where it's about, you know, maybe they feel that their stomach is too large or they may have some scars on their body. I mean, that in many ways masks deeper um, insecurities that come from within. Yes, that's true. So, you know, throughout this project, uh, I, I, but when I started to peel the layers, I realized that behind almost every physical insecurity, there's like a deeper deeper mental health issue or like a trauma that happened in the past that this physical uh, appearance, this physical vulnerability uh, just masks that deeper mental health issue. Tell me about some of the people that you photographed. Um, the, the, the people range, I mean, the, the stories range from, you know, uh, uh, polycystic ovaries to, uh, to, you know, a lot of them have uh, uh, stories of like sexual abuse as children. Uh, some have uh, issues with their parents misunderstanding them and, and, and res, you know, uh, resorting to, you know, self-harm and, you know, using a blade to cut themselves. So, you know, it's, it's, a, whole, it's a whole range of issues that are not spoken about, uh, in, in, at least in the, you know, in the areas where I come from, the Middle East and maybe even South Asia and Southeast Asia. So it's shedding light on those issues that are considered taboo. But uh, these things, you know, mental health is real and, and, and depression is real and, and, and uh, you know, it should be talked about. Um, it, mental health is real and it's good that we're talking about it now. I mean, can you see this taking off? Uh, is it going global? Uh, it is. I mean, I'm, I'm speaking to you guys on Sky News International, so I, I didn't think this would happen, to be very honest with you. But, uh, you know, I'm, I'm thankful that, that this is happening and it is, you know, bringing awareness to, uh, to people on a, on a global scale. What is your message um, to people who do suffer these um, insecurities, whether they may be internal or maybe insecurities about, I mean, you know, some physical aspects of them? I think the, the message is actually not even just to the people that, do stuff from them, but it's actually mostly geared towards the parents in most of these things. Uh, the common denominator in most of these stories is, is in the upbringing where the parents may have not created a safe space for, uh, for the children to, to you know, mental report uh, uh, incidents of abuse or, you know, instead of, um, instead of telling, you know, your daughter to stop eating that cake because she's gaining weight, maybe take a gynecologist and check her for polycystic ovaries. You know, it's, it's these things. That's the message I'm trying to give to the parents. Uh, a very good cause. Walid, really appreciate talking to you this afternoon. Thanks for raising awareness. Appreciate your time. Thank, Thank you. you. Well, that was us, Sky News Today. Many thanks indeed for watching. Coming up next, it's uh, Ian King Life.